The 3D prototype template is for artists and designers who wish to show their prototypes to their clients and colleagues for feedbacks and quick turnarounds. In this tutorial, we'll be uploading different versions of our models onto this template, sending it out to others using email, receiving some com comments, and then updating accordingly. Now let's go ahead and open up the templates. The template has already provided you with several of the placeholders. Each of the square panel here is an indication for you to place your prototype on top. So what we can do is to swap the placeholder by clicking on the swap icon and then select upload. The prototype I'm going to use today is a WAF model. And we're just going to move it slightly above the panel to make sure that the wolf is standing on top of it. And then I will also add the texture for the wolf. The first one will be a black wolf. Since I'm using a low poly model, something I would like to do is to change the material type from PBR physical material to flat, just so the pattern on the model is more obvious. I also have three versions of the skin, so something I will do is instead of swapping each of the placeholder on the right, delete them, and then duplicate the wolf. So the position and the scale re will remain consistent. Now the only thing I need to do is to change the texture. The middle one, let's say it's a brown wolf, and the one on the far right will be a white one. Other than the skins, I also have a few animations for the model. So what I will do is to swap this uh, placeholder in the back to an uh, animation model. So the first one I'm going to use is the wolf attack. Make it lower. And if we hit play, you can see that this model has some animation in it. Well, I have more prototypes than what the template's providing me. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the square panel for the extra one that I have, as well as the wolf model. And then swap the wolf model to another animation that I have. This one, we're going to use wolf idle. Last, copy the same model for the position and rotation and scale, and swap it to the wolf jump. Now I have prepared enough for what I would like to show to my clients. Some additional thing I would like to do is to leave some notes and guide for people who is going to view my scene. The first thing I would like to do is to change the title to something more appropriate. We also provided titles for people to use in order to version control their models. And I will rename each of the prototype to something that's more reasonable of the model itself. Now if we hit play, we can check how our prototype scene is like. Something you probably have noticed is that the model is, doesn't have a loop on, so the wolf stopped midway in the air. One quick fix that we can do is to select the model, go to the behavior, click on the animation icon here, and then check off loop. Now if we play the scene again, you can see all of the animations have a loop going on. Once we are happy with the scene, it's time to share it with others for feedback. By doing so, we need to first publish it. It's locating on the top right corner here. After you publish it, you can see uh, Brio offers you a variety of sharing options. And this time, I will only demo how to share it using emails by copying the link here. So first, let's copy the link that's generated by Brio. Go to any mail server that you have and go ahead and, and then go ahead and send it out to the client or anyone you would like to share it with. 
Once the other person or the people receive the email, the only thing they need to do is to click on the link you shared with them. And the viewer can see what you have done on a browser as well as leaving a feedback. You can simply type what you want to see on the box, on, uh, in the box on the left. Brio offers something that's called the 3D comments. It is something that you can actually drag into the scene to make it relevant to the object itself. Here I have dragged some requests I have made to one of the model. Now if we go back to the builder, we can make the adjustment accordingly by making another version of the white wolf that instead of have the green stripes, it has the purple stripes. So I'm going to upload another material that has the white that has the white coat but with the purple stripe. Back to the viewer, if we refresh the page, we can see that our request has been made and another version of the wolf has been added. And that's everything for the 3D prototype template.